Jed here to show you a quick overview of the GoTo mobile app that is available to Android and iPhone users. Depending on your GoTo plan, you'll have different options available when you use this app. This video focuses on those who have a GoTo Connect license, but I'll also be talking about meetings. GoTo Connect provides users with the ability to access their business phone and many more features from their computer. The mobile app provides a way for you to take many of these key features with you on your smartphone. You can be running the GoToConnect app on your phone and computer at the same time. When a call comes in, you'll then have the option to choose which device to answer it with. To find other videos we have for the mobile app, please see the link to a playlist in this video's description. I've already signed in as the user Ryan Noble, and this is the home screen. Again, you'll see different buttons and icons depending on what options are available with your plan. Let's start with the settings, which can be accessed by clicking your profile picture in the top left corner. We can see the name of this contact and extension number assigned to them. If you want to upload a picture of yourself, that will need to be done from the desktop or web version of GoTo. Here are the settings where you can silence this device or enable Do Not Disturb. The silence this device setting only applies to your smartphone but Do Not Disturb will also be enabled on your desktop app if you activate that option here. Click here if you want to sync your work calendar with GoTo. Doing so will help notify you of upcoming meetings that have a valid GoToMeeting link in the calendar event details or location fields. Here are the links where you can find the settings for phone, voicemail, and meetings. Let's go back to the main page. Let's check out the phone tab. This section displays information related to your phone. The calls tab displays your call history. On pages similar to this, you can click the filter text to determine what results you see. Tap the voicemails tab. Here is where you can see your voicemail messages. Tap one for more options. You can delete the message or play it through the normal speaker, your speaker phone, or through a Bluetooth device if one is paired with your phone. You can call the person back or even leave a note about the voicemail if needed. If you want to mark multiple voicemail messages read at the same time or delete them, click the more icon in the top right corner, which looks like three dots stacked on top of each other and select Edit List. Currently, GoTo users can receive, view, download, share, and delete faxes in the mobile app. Additional functionality is being developed. Tap the Dial Pad icon. Here's where you can dial a number for a call. If you'd like to call one of your contacts, click the Contacts icon. Use the search option at the top to quickly locate the desired contact. You can also use the tabs here to find your contact. The Business tab displays the contacts from your business. Those are auto-populated and cannot be edited nor deleted. The Personal tab displays the external contacts you've added. If you gave the app permissions to access the contacts from your cell phone, you'll see them here. In this case, however, I have not allowed access to my phone contacts yet. Let's check out the Messages icon. This is the place for teams to share messages, files, and more. The first time you're here, you'll be asked to create a channel, which is the group you'll be conversing with. Only internal contacts can be added to these channels. Click the Meetings icon. If you have synced your Google or Microsoft Calendar with GoTo, you'll see upcoming meetings here that have a valid GoTo link. Tap the plus icon. From here you have the option to start a meeting, join a meeting, or create a meeting. Tap the Rooms tab. In GoTo, rooms are a term used for reusable meeting locations. Any rooms that you've created or others have designated you as the co-organizer of will appear here. Finally, tap the contacts icon. 
This screen is set up like what we saw before when looking at contacts that we could call. Tap on one of your contacts. From here we can see their phone numbers and email address. From here you can enable or disable the favorite status. Tap the plus icon. Here's where you can add the details for a new contact. If you create a new contact here, it will be synced with your desktop and web accounts as well. Let me show you some options you have when you're on a call. After accepting a call, you'll see different buttons on your screen, like options to use a dial pad or enable your speakerphone. Tap the plus button if you want to add additional people to the call and then select one of your contacts or dial the number of the person you want to add to the call. To transfer a call, tap the transfer button. Now select the person you want to transfer the call to. You can then select from three transfer options. If you're using your cellular network to use the app, you will also have the option to flip a call that you're on from another device to the mobile app. Finally, let me show you some options for when you are in a meeting. Before you join a meeting, you have the option to edit your display name as well as determine if your microphone and camera will be enabled. I'm now in meeting. Here are the buttons you can tap to enable or disable your microphone or camera. Tap the more icon. Here you can find options for things like screen sharing and hand raising. In addition to seeing the meeting participants, you can also see the session settings, which allow options for things like being able to select a Wi-Fi signal for the call or use your cellular network data. In the top right corner are three important buttons. You have options for commuter mode, being able to see the meeting participants and find a way to send text chat messages to those in the meeting. That's all there is to this quick start for the GoToMobile app.